Hello guys, in this video we are going to build uh, two different dashboards. One is uh, the Geo Scatter Map and second one is the Geo JSON Maps. And now quickly dive into a uh, Logs panel, Logs Console in Open Observe. As you can see, I've ingested the Geo data. This is the sample data that consists of all the uh, demo data that I've ingested. Let's do for three hours, click on Run Query. Now, if I open any of these logs, you can see that I have a timestamp, you know, country code, uh, geolocation, and lat log, and everything. Now, we are going to uh, dashboards over these logs. Now, let's go to the dashboards. And in Open Observe, there are two ways to actually create a dashboard. One is import, other is a dashboard. In our case, let's click on new dashboard. Let's say it is geo or demo geo map, right? And then click on save. Now, after you save, you can go to add panel. And in the panel section, you have to select the stream that we have just ingested. That is geo data. And you can see. Uh, you have all the attributes that we have ingested. Now on the left hand side, we have two different maps. One is the, you know, it says geo map and this is a maps, but uh, this is the scatter map that we want to achieve. And now let's click on scatter map. And you can see it will take inputs for lat, long, weight and filters. Now for lat and long, let's quickly add lat and long. Now for the weight, if you want to add a uh, uh, weight of the source IPs, according uh, to the IPs, if you want to identify the patterns of the heat signatures, you can use IPs. Or if you want to do the level, you know, like warning, info, errors, and everything that we have captured, you can either do on this one as well. Now in this scenario, let's capture for level. Let's add level as a weight. And I also want to add the level as filters. In the filters, I want to get a list. <clears throat> let's do it for three hours and apply and now if i try to get a list you will see error info warning let's say i just want to find out the errors the weight of the errors from where you know it is originating from right and i click on apply immediately you can see that uh, from this region i'm getting lots of errors and this region i'm getting like you know uh, so so errors so on the right hand side you can see the panel where it, you can go all the all the way from low to high and identify the patterns where the error messages are coming from you can do this uh, for either errors or like, you know, just both, uh, you know, error and info and click on apply and you will see the heat map according to that. Now, let's quickly go to the config. And if I hover over these uh, heat signatures, you can see I have, I do not really like. So what I can do is I can just say decimals as zero and then and say, I don't want to see these uh, areas where there are no heat signatures. In that case, I can actually increase my zoom level to two and then apply. <clears throat> and immediately I can see my, uh, you know, the map that is completely fit to my uh, dashboard and I can name it as character map, save. Now, what if we want to identify the countries, uh, the region where uh, these uh, signatures, I mean, these error messages are coming from. Now I can simply click on duplicate now in this scenario, we are going to go to the map section. This is the JSON maps uh, that will help you visualize on a country basis. Now what I can do is quickly the country code, right? The country code is the two letter word that we have captured previously. If I go back, if I click on any of the logs, you can see the country code, uh, you know, uh, these GB and the country code I, all these country codes will be added as part of the name. Now let's click on name uh, for the country code. And uh, for the values will be now we want to, we can do either IPs or level or job. Uh, let's just do level and we'll uh, add the level to the value. And on the level we have added, we have selected both error and for previously, right? Now let's make it for three hours and apply and click on apply. Now you can see that uh, various you know error and info you're getting this you um, know color coding for the countries from where these are originating from now <clears throat> i can go to the config and since we have uh, did a duplicate of the previous maps you can see the decimals were carried vertically uh, here and <clears throat> we can save this as json map and when we do it for two or three hours you'll see both the for weight of fills <clears throat> and let's quickly duplicate the scattered map and now this time i want to actually do for source ip so i can add source ip to the weight and click on apply and you can see that the heat map is now for the source ips 
I can say this is for IP and click on save. In the same way, you can duplicate uh, maps and then select IP as your value and click on apply and save it. Now you can see I quickly edit this name and call it as for IP. Now you can see you have beautiful uh, insights where you can see shells, you know, the, so the maps around the uh, levels and also the maps around the IPs. On the right hand side, again, the maps around, you know, the color coding of the countries around the levels versus IP.